Welcome to Turn Right Machine Works. My name is Keith. And boy, you can sure tell it's getting hot and summery out there. Got some white legs here. And my glasses turn dark every time I go outside. Today we are going to start on a new project. And, and we're going to give you a view of some pecker tracks that I found on this that show a little bit of the story. Um, repair it when things broke and maybe how some of the things broke flange actually bolts on with that hole that hole that hole and uh, this hole and this hole here are, are little set screws that go in and um, have male um, <laughs> oh shit, I forgot the name of it. What I want to look at, <clears throat> I know that because I, I felt down through the... Hello. Um, okay. All right. It's almost done. I just got to do the lettuce and tomato. Okay, baby. I got to call in between. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. If anybody wants to look up that information. <clears throat> lunch. Ah, lunch, huh? Once you get one, you, you can tap this, get that loose. You can pull that one out. Then you can get underneath here. You can get a, a flat pusher. And you can push that up like that. And then this piece would come out, okay? It was effective as far as the locking and everything else, but it's straightforward. Machining of this air is very logical. You just, sometimes we're a little bit ignorant of um, ways to get that key locked in, you know, guiding and all of that. And, and actually, it slides pretty freely, all right? And you can see that there's a diameter all the way around there. So let's go ahead and we have a collar here that we can go ahead and take our dimensions diameter bore OD depth and all of that and uh, we're gonna go over to it, the closing lay I'm gonna go ahead and do a face cut first so I'm gonna I'm gonna angle it slightly this way here I'll bring you around on the other side we're gonna be turning this slow and I'm gonna be turning it in reverse and I have the tool bit upside down so I'm not going to be spraying the ductile iron all over the place. All right. Let's see how we're doing at this speed right here. Now I'm just going to come in and touch. All right, we're in a good position right there. We lock down our tool post. We're gonna come in and touch here. We're just setting our travel dial on our leg just so that we know where zero is. I like to at least come in and take a cleanup cut. It looks like it's wobbling about 25. Maybe a little bit more. There's 30. Okay. Well, you see that chip there? This is not ductile iron. I thought it was a remnants of a piece I had there, and the surface condition looked like it, but it probably was just a good aged piece sitting on the shelf there. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Actually, it almost looks like uh, 8620 here. 